Join us for some awesome lakefront camping with our dog. the middle of August and Kate, Coco, and I are headed towards Lake Placid to do some dispersed camping. We left later than we wanted to and we had a hard time finding a campsite that was free but eventually we found one. The last time we camped at this lake we had a great experience and I'd say we had just as much fun this time. We found one. Coco's eating first. I feel like she always does. It's about eight o'clock now, and we definitely got here later than we wanted to. And it's not raining anymore. It's actually getting to be kind of clear sky, but the water's just dripping off these trees still. Tonight for dinner, we're keeping it really easy with the balsamic rosemary beef steak tips from Trader Joe's and their gnocchi and the gorgonzola kind. We also are having some of the guacamole. And we have these drinks here. Josh picked this drink out for me the other day. It's a yuzu and elderflower drink. And I always like to try like interesting different flavors of things. And I just took a sip and it's pretty good. Even though we got here pretty late and we're still really hungry, we're definitely glad we got this site because this is like one of the last ones on the road. Dinner is done and it's looking great. We had to put this candle on because the bugs here are really bad. Out of all the camp meals you've had, how would you rate this one? Probably a pretty solid like eight. What about you? Yeah, I'd say this one's really awesome. I don't think I ever said it when we first got here, but we're at site 14 at the end of Meadows Road basically. And we stayed here a few months ago with the truck camper on our first initial trip. It's a decent site, but it's not that wide. So if you had like a big truck, you uh, might not be able to back in here. These steak tips are great. They're probably one of my favorite things from Trader Joe's. Dinner was good. We're mostly cleaned up now and I'm going to take Coco on a little walk. And it looks like we've got car number seven driving down the road. Kate and I just changed. I rolled down the back windows a little bit for Coco. She's pretty sleepy, as you can tell. We're heading to bed. It's probably about like 9.45 at this point, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It's right about 9 o'clock, and Kate just got out and got Coco out of the car. Coco. Coco, you look excited to see me. I'm going to show you around the campsite a little bit. So if you had a ground tent, you would probably set it up back there. And this is the road leading in. And there's a couple other campsites. And the trailhead parking is down this way. I think that's site 15 and 16 right there. You can see there's a good amount of cars parked down here too. Because there's the trailhead right there. It's definitely getting to be a nice day out. And it's already a pretty warm out. Now we're going to be taking down the tent. And heading into Lake Placid for a little bit. It's really nice being able to bring all this stuff with us. And we're almost done. I just got to help Kate tuck in this side. We're back at the end of the road and there's a lot of hiker cars parked here. And I see a Lance truck camper with a roof box and kayak on the top. It looks pretty big and they're definitely hitting the trees. Oh, they have two boats on top. Let's see what kind of truck it's on. A five to ten year old Chevy truck. Wow, look at this big rig. We saw this one yesterday. It's got a Canada plate. We've got a motorcycle on the back. Oh, look, Nomad Ventures 360. I wonder if that's their Instagram or if that's like the company that did it. I had to stop and get a photo with it and we found them on Instagram. And this thing is crazy big and we saw this last night. I just wanted to give you a size comparison. I didn't look and see how big those tires are, but the whole thing is just crazy massive. And I really like the porch that they have on the back. And we got a spot that we barely fit in, but I think it'll work. And now we're going to walk around downtown a little bit. Here we are at the little public beach, right on one of the ends of uh, Mirror Lake. I think Coco's having a fun time. We're almost back to the car, but I was wondering what this mountain is over here. And I looked on my app that I bought and it's actually Whiteface Mountain. Our original plan was to paddleboard around Mirror Lake, 
and then go to the Big Slide Brewery right near here, and also bike on the Adirondack Rail Trail, which is like a new rail trail in the area, but that's actually not finished yet, and it's too early to go to the brewery. So we're actually gonna head north a little bit and try to find a cool lakefront camp spot, and then just paddleboard and bike around there. We're heading down to one of our favorite spots, and uh, look what I see down here, a school bus and a huge tent. This is crazy. It looks like they basically moved in. There's a bunch of boats over there, at least like six or seven boats. Yeah, this seems like a lot. This is crazy. A bunch of hammocks. There must be a ton of people here. Yeah, look at all the chairs they brought too. They have an e-bike, that oh, tent. Yeah. Look at the roof of that school bus. It's like custom. I didn't even notice that. So it's like a even taller up there. So I am surprised that the school bus made it down there. I feel like they have enough stuff to live there for like a month or two. Maybe they are. This looks like a good spot. This is great. We're lucking out with a waterfront campsite. I just figured out that we can actually see that school bus in that other site from here if I zoom in enough for you. This is an awesome spot and I think we'd even be able to come down here with our truck camper. It's like 1240 now and I think it's time to make lunch and then head out for a paddle. We're having chicken and tomato sandwiches with some pepper jack cheese. Our sandwiches were great and I actually see a couple kayakers over here and I think I'm going to fly the drone up and then we're going to take the paddle boards out. As you can see, this is a really awesome area and we have been to this lake before, but we've never actually stayed at this specific site. And it's definitely one of my favorite spots and it is really warm out and Coco's actually sleeping under the car. How you doing, Coco? Because it's so warm and nice out, I decided I'm gonna have some type of drink. Looks like I'll be having a pineapple high noon. See you guys out there. I'll be out there in a minute. See ya. Coco's so funny with her life jacket on. You can really see how close we are to the water from here. Good girl. She's funny. As soon as you got in the water, she was like... You are funny, Coco. Okay. It's my better option. <laughs> if you look down there in that little peninsula, you'll be able to see that school bus and the kayaks that are down there. I think we're going to paddle down that way and then just paddle back. Literally, you got in the water, just like you weren't even close to us, and Coco immediately stood up and tried to start plodding, getting on your paddleboard. Yeah, she way. did. She <laughs> likes paddleboarding with me. Coco's standing up now. She's interested. This is definitely quite the setup. Coco, what are you doing? Coco. And we're back. It was a good little paddle. It came out looking pretty good. Our little snack was really good, and I think I'm actually going to go on a little bike ride before dinner. All right, 
I'll see you later. I'm going on a little ride and I'll probably be like 30 or 40 minutes. Have fun. Yeah, thank you. I'm back to the main road now and the sun just came back out and I'm recording this on Strava so I'll check in when I get back to the site and tell you how many miles I did. The views of the lake from this pathway are just awesome. How was your bike ride? It was great. I went around the whole lake. That's awesome. Yeah, that was an awesome little ride. It was just about seven miles and it took me a little bit under 40 minutes to do it. And I think I'm actually going to jump in the lake while I'm still pretty warm. But overall, it is pretty shady on this side of the lake, so it does feel a little bit cooler over here. I just got changed and put up our lights and I'm about to start the fire and I'm really glad I swam. It was really nice and really refreshing, especially after the bike ride. Now that the fire is going pretty good, I'm going to show you what we're having for dinner. And we've got a salad kit, and we've got this uh, pre-marinated chicken shawarma chicken thighs from Trader Joe's. And then we're going to be cutting up the sweet potato into little fries and dipping them in this truffle aioli sauce. This is looking awesome. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We just somewhat cleaned up and I finished up with dinner. And it seems like there's more boating traffic in the evening than there was during the day. There's probably been like four boats that have driven by. Our fire kind of died out while we were cleaning up from dinner. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh no. What'd you do? I didn't get all my marshmallows. <laughs> That's not good. How was your s'more? It was good. I let Coco lick my fingers. That's funny. Mm -hmm. 9.04 p.m. and Coco's ready to go in the car. My s'more was also great and it's probably about 8.30 now and we're just going to be hanging out by the fire for like the next hour or so and then heading to bed. So that's about it for today and we'll see you in the morning. Kate's going to be going for a little early morning paddle and she's going to read her book out there. It's a great morning for it. Coco and I have just been hanging out and Kate just got back from her morning paddle. It's really nice and warm out. So I think the next thing we're going to do is we're all actually going to go out on the paddle boards and swim out there a little bit. Coco is ready to get on. Oh my God. <laughs> Coco, it's not in the water yet. Oh, good girl. She's gonna be like her face in front of the camera. Yeah. It's even nicer out today than it was yesterday, and you can get a good view of our camp spot from here. <laughs> How's it going up here? Pretty good. Coco decided to lay sideways. Yeah, so. her tail's in the water. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Coco, you are so funny. <laughs> what? I like literally don't know. Yeah, I have no idea what she's doing. She hasn't done this to me before. Coco made the leap over to my paddleboard. And the sun kind of went away.
we ended up just coming back and not really swimming because the sun went away but now it's back out we just had a snack and got our bikes ready with coco's bike trailer because we're going to do that same ride i did yesterday the seven and a half eight mile ride around the lake and on the snowmobile trail back to the campsite and it should be pretty fun it's a great day so far so good but the little hills are a lot more noticeable when i have a bike trailer with a dog on me Also, the road on this section is pretty rough, so I have to go slow or else it's too bumpy for Coco. Kate's on the other side now, but this is the snowmobile trail that'll take us around the lake. How's it going back there, Coco? This is definitely the most bumpy trail you've ever ridden on. I would say there's even more boaters out on the lake today than yesterday. We're about halfway through our ride at this point, and I think I'll just see you when we get back to the car. And we did it. We're back at the campsite. I see a pontoon boat down there. Our bike ride was great. It's about 2.30 now, and we biked about eight miles. And I think before we go, we're gonna use the paddle boards and swim finally. And we did just pack up the roof tent. I hope you enjoyed our little two night camping trip. And as always, thanks for watching.